Hi there, how are you? I have another great recipe for you. This one does go in the crock pot and it is uh, vegetarian. I think it's actually even vegan. So um, you definitely want to check this one out. Please go ahead and hit subscribe. If you like cooking and shopping, seeing what's new at Aldi, Sam's Club, I love sharing those things with you. So this recipe is the first time I made red beans and rice without any meat protein in it. So I, you know, in the past I would put some ham or sausage or things in there. But right now I'm trying this out. Um, I have type 2 diabetes and my numbers were not very under control. And so there is a uh, plan out there to follow more of a vegan lifestyle. I'm doing my best. I do eat some cheese. I try to pick the leaner cheeses. I do eat some fish, but again, a lean fish, um, trying to avoid the fat and things like that. And so far it's working for me. Um, it's only been a little more than a week, about 10 days, but it's working really well and my blood sugar numbers are improving. So that is what's important. Uh, that can be a really frustrating thing about diabetes is that what I do uh, will work for me and maybe you'll try it, it won't work for you. And that was what was happening with me. I was trying some traditional things of like uh, limiting my carbs and it was still not working for me. So that got very frustrating. So on to the next thing. Try it out, see how it works. Uh, but these red beans, the spice is perfect. I got it perfect. Trust me, follow the recipe. It is really good. I will, uh, this is what I created of the spice levels and amounts of things. So I will just type it out in the description box for you. And if you're looking for other good uh, vegan vegetarian recipes, I will also link a soup uh, that I make below. I have not made this in so long. I'm just salivating thinking about it. It is uh, called detox lentil soup, but it has like every vegetable under the sun, uh, squash, butternut squash, and lentils in there, and there was a potato in there. It's just so good. It is just feels so good when you eat it. You just know that uh, it's doing your body good. So check those out. Um, I really appreciate you hanging out with me and try this recipe. Your family will love it. Here's everything I'm gonna need to make some crock pot red beans. Um, so I've got one pound of dried red beans. I think I'm just gonna do one bell pepper, a couple um, slices of celery, some onion chop that all up. You're gonna need a total of eight cups of vegetable broth. I have a broth base here that I'll mix with water. I'm gonna use some of this uh, Creole seasoning, some hot sauce, some either tomato sauce or tomato paste, and some liquid smoke. This is what's gonna give you a lot of good flavor for it being uh, vegetarian because I'm not adding any of the meats to it so this will really help season it up. You're going to start here with your one pound of dried red beans. These as you see here I'm not going to soak them before I make the recipe. Uh, you're just going to look through make sure there's no rocks or clumps of dirt or anything like that. If I found a bunch of things I might um, take them out and rinse them but uh, there was no issues here. So I just left them be. But I have a really good luck when I cook dried beans in the crock pot that they do not need to be soaked. They are just fine, just as is. Uh, so you're going to also want to add eight cups of water. Uh, it's actually going to be eight cups of broth. I use always a broth base. I found that broth base that I'm using from the Dollar Tree and it's really delicious. This is a vegetable one and I really like it. I think I'm going to go see if they have more and pick more up. It was a very good buy. So you're going to want to chop up all of your vegetables and I like to chop them really fine and small which you can see here. I did one bell pepper and two ribs of celery. I find that the flavor it releases it more, it goes more through the entire dish, uh, the smaller that it's chopped, especially in this type of dish where it's soupy, let's say. So I only had tomato sauce, I was out of tomato paste. Tomato paste would have made it more of a thicker sauce on your red beans, uh, which my husband actually preferred. He said, make it this way every time. So there's that 
boolean I got from Dollar Tree. Um, but, you know, he said make it this way every time. But if you think you want it thicker, because that's more what I was envisioning, um, then I would use tomato paste. But the flavor, the tomato flavor was there, which was great. And this Creole seasoning here is also a Dollar Tree item. I've actually only ever purchased it at the Dollar Tree, so I would have to, I'm, I'm assuming Kroger would carry it. That's the next kind of store I shop at. Um, but the two tablespoons was perfect. The seasoning level on this, everyone in my family absolutely loved it. This is just an Aldi hot sauce. Use your favorite hot sauce. And I used one quarter cup of that. Nobody needed to add extra hot sauce. I am known for being a little bit light on the seasoning. Um, and everybody, nobody needed to add any more. Everybody was very pleased with the way this came out. So when you're cooking things without meat, sometimes you have to find some different products. And that's what this is here, liquid smoke. It was so delicious. I've heard this can be quite strong. So in this entire pot, I only used one teaspoon and I think I would keep it at that because too much, then it just is like you're in a campfire and maybe it's just too much. So definitely invest in that. I don't feel that it was very expensive. I feel that bottle was under $3 from Kroger and it really, I think, made the difference to make these beans have that depth of flavor you're looking for when you're not adding some sort of meat. Here is the finished product. As you see, in my opinion, it's a little soupy. Of course, I didn't scoop up all the soup. I did make some white rice, so we just served this over some white rice with, you know, everybody got to figure out their own bowl of how much liquid they wanted in there, but try this one out. It's delicious. <laughs> 